On this site, just northeast of American Fork City, it's our dream to build an American Fork campus for American Heritage School. This will allow us to expand what we're doing and continue the dream that the Andersons started some 30 years ago. Just think of the opportunity it will bring to so many more children. I'm just hoping everyone will help us to build this marvelous school. Our hope for the children at American Heritage is that they will become instruments in the hands of the Lord. That as they mature, that they will be men and women of faith, men and women of courage, men and women with Christian character to carry out the purposes of our Heavenly Father. So many people I have spoken with in this building who are interested in what we do here comment on what a beautiful building this is. And my response is always, yes, this is a beautiful building, but the most beautiful thing is what occurs here. The principles that we plant deeply in the hearts of the children. We define principle as a basic truth, and that is what we teach them each and every day. All of our curriculum, all curricular subjects are based on the gospel of Jesus Christ and His truths. And I want them to take those facts, both the spiritual and the secular facts, and use them for good, taking that knowledge and that spirit and that faith that they have garnered here and uplifting their family, uplifting their classmates, uplifting those whose hands hang down because they have learned more than just multiplication tables or chemistry tables. They have learned what it means to see someone as Jesus sees them. Well, it takes one. One person, one individual can change so much. We hope that they will have um, courage. It takes a lot of courage to stand up for great principles, especially in our day and time. Because American Heritage School focuses on character education and faith-based education, some wonder whether we are competitive academically. It's interesting to note that when compared nationally, American Heritage School performs above the 80th percentile consistently, and many students in the 90th percentile. Although testing is not an end-all, be-all measurement of learning and development, this is remarkable evidence that character-focused and faith-based education can have a dramatic impact on academic performance. We feel that we're an extension of the home in the way that the standards and the principles that are taught in the homes of our children and in their churches when they go to church on Sunday are the same that they carry through here at American Heritage School. When you stop and think about it, all these years, that's an amazing amount of time for something to be held together. And there's no question in my mind it's held together because the Lord wants it to be. This school has a unique mission and it's because it was founded upon faith. Noah Webster, one of our founding fathers, said that an education in science and mathematics is important, but that an education in faith is indispensable. And so it's more important than ever before, more important than it's ever been, to let these children be taught to love their Heavenly Father, to keep the Ten Commandments, to live the Golden Rule. I think the Lord wanted this school to succeed. I really mean that.